And we are so thrilled to have Kevin, Joe, and Nick here thank with you. us. Uh, thank you all. You've always been very good to us, very good to your fans who always line up to, to see you. And the burning question, Kev, why now? Why? Um, I think it was time. And for us, you know, it took some time getting there. But we feel like it's time that the Jonas Brothers comes to an end. Nick and Joe, I understand that you guys, you know, initially were having problems with the new music. And you were the ones that kind of started the conversation? Yeah, I, I was actually one that, that initiated the conversation. Um, you know, we're, we're family first, and, and that's always been our main priority, and, and, and so honesty within that, you know, within what we do as a group was, was really important. Uh, so I came to the table with the guys just before we were prepping to leave for uh, a tour, and I, and I shared my heart with them, and my what feelings. What did you say to them? What you um, I, I think in a, in a nutshell, I, I, I said, look, I feel like we've had some complications within the group for a long time without addressing them i think this train will fall off the tracks uh without um, really getting real about some of the concerns and and some of the limitations that we may feel as individuals in the group and uh it was a tough conversation not gonna lie it was the yeah. first time we really had that real conversation it was a few days of of working through it but um now i've all come to a place after a lot of time thinking about it and, and, and talking about it together where, where we feel like we're, we're best suited to do our own individual things, all things we're passionate about, and choose to be brothers first. First and foremost, and you all yeah. had been going in that individual path to begin with. Joe, so when, when Nick comes and he's, he starts talking about the complications, can you tell us what those complications had been? Um, to just name a few, I mean, I think for us as a band, it was the music. You know, for us, we kind of held on to it for so long that we kind of at one point a year later we still kind of felt like it was starting to get stale to us or there was just individual things that we were just butting heads about whether if it was um a way to set up a music video to um even just whatever even off personal opportunities and, and it just at some point we decided that it was best to, to finish this and, and support each other on our own ventures along the way. Brothers first and foremost, as you all keep going back to. But you did release new music this year. Did, Hits, yeah. Pom Pom, first yeah. time. Pom Pom, first uh, time. Th yeah. So are you going to complete the album? <clears throat> the album will actually not be completed, but we will be doing something. We're going to release four of the unreleased songs from the album. Um, the rest of the album will be um, never released. But then we also have gone back in the studio and re finished recording the live uh, We put together the live tracks from the last summer tour, about 10 songs as well. So we'll be actually be giving that to our fan club members as a gift, just so, from us. So again, thinking of your fans, and Nick, I mean, you're talking about the individual things. We've seen you on Broadway again recently. I mean, what is what does the future hold for each of you individually, beginning with you, Nick? I, I think we're, we're really in a, a season right now of, of being really excited about the future, but, yeah. but also, you know, the, there's a certain heaviness that comes with closing a chapter and understanding that uh, you know we have the best fans in the world and, and and have for our entire career so we thank them for that and uh, thank them for really understanding this this move for us and uh, you know I, I think that for me personally my, my next move will be recording music writing uh, for myself and for other people and some acting opportunity and, and maybe a return to theater at some point you know, I, you know I love being in this city so close to all of you here yeah that's where we that's how where we first got to know you in, in many ways exactly. and you Joe um, it sounds a little similar to Nick, but music on my own and um, acting, and there's a lot of other ideas, but um, kind of jumping into, I mean, this is the first time in a long time we have time to focus on ourselves and, and support each other through that. Um, and like, you, you know, Nick said, you know, we know it's, um, it's going to be sad for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. for us, we, we are looking forward to the future, and, and obviously, like Nick said, there's the heaviness that comes with Sure. It's talking about something like this. Well, and you're going to be uncles soon, to be. Yeah. You know, Kevin, you, you and Danielle with yeah. the reality show and having the baby coming soon. Yeah, we are. We're having a baby. We're really looking forward mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. And even and beyond that as well, I'm going to be going into my kind of first passion, which was, you know, the business side of things. And I'm in the first round of uh, funding for an entertainment fund that will position brands to target millennials. And so uh, kind of pouring my passion into that as well as being a father. Any chance getting back together down the road? Never say never. Yeah, yeah. I think it's impossible to say forever with mm -hmm. anything, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like we're, we're playing it one step at a time right now, and, and like like we said, rebuilding his brothers first and, and starting there. Oh, well, great. And you have great folks, good family, and just thank you. Thank you for sharing thank your you. talents. We're going to hear from you all again.
This isn't. This is just so long for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for coming forward and talking. Thank and I know so it means a lot to your fans. Thank, thank you. you.